Hey Rex, so I want to go through everything that I'm going to be shipping you. I want to make sure this is what you're, everything that you need. Side stand eliminator is going to plug into that green connector there. Tip over connector eliminator is going to go into the gray plug down here close to the ECU and that one pin ground connection. This is the left hand control. It's going to plug into this yellow connector here. It has the clutch switch bypass, horn, high beams, turn signals, none of that stuff is extended. Two foot fuel pump extension with a resistor inside to simulate uh, half fuel capacity or something like that so that there are no FI codes associated with it. That will plug into this brown connector right here. And then you'll have the everything just extended out. So you'll have the same type of connector just two foot further away. Here's your ignition switch connector um, with a resistor in it so the fuel pump will work. Just tested it on my bike. It's going to plug into this green connector up at the top of the harness. You got an on off switch. And then this is the right hand control connector which will plug into a 10 pin black connector somewhere. Having a hard time seeing it. Um, way up here by the left hand control stuff. Uh, it's got the red run switch jumpered out and yellow starter wires. So those two will get hooked to a button once you tell me which button you want. Other than that, I'm assuming all your gauges and everything you'll be able to hook up on your own. Your coolant gauge, your attack, whatever you plan on doing, you don't need any wiring from, uh, from me on that.